hello friends welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute since i have filmed any jacks related content so we are doing just that today today i have another episode if you want to call it an episode in my pitbull series again if you want to call it a series i will link all of my dog related videos in a playlist in the description below if you would like to watch any of my previous content today we are focusing on indestructible toys so i have a couple of dog tests indestructible toys videos in that playlist and today i have four more toys gadgets products to be testing with our pitbull our pitbull is currently 87 pounds so just about 90 pounds and listen listen i will make this short and sweet for anybody comes at me in the comments one of the number one comments that i get in this series is girl that is not a pitbull you don't have a pitbull you need to check your breed he is a pitbull i promise you he is a pitbull he is a mix i understand that but he is mixed with pitbull we don't know what he is mixed with but long story short He's not a rescue dog, he is a rescue dog. I don't know what you define a rescue dog, but one of Adam's friends had a litter of puppies. The mother is a pit bull. One of the little babies was Jax. Jax went to a family. Within a week, the family brought Jax back and was like, I don't want this dog. I can't handle this dog. This dog is not for me. So the person who had the litter was like, what am I gonna do with this dog? Called up Adam and was like, somebody brought this dog back. They didn't want him. I would like to give him to you. You're single, he was single at the time you have a house he had his own house at the time before he lived here he's like would you like to have Jax and Adam was like let me test it out let me see how it goes like I didn't really want to have a dog right now but like let's try it out took Jax home fell in love with him within a day he was like he's the easiest puppy ever and the rest is history so the mother of Jax is a pit bull we're not sure about the father but he is pit bull he might not be like 100 percent, but he is mixed with pit bull so i just call him my 90 pound pit bull because that's all i know that he is okay that was a whole story a lot of people are like that's a staff american staff fire staff whatever it is i'm sure he has that mixed in with him but he also is pit bull so with all that being said, don't come at me in the comments. I get so many people that get so aggressive and so angry over the fact that I call Jax a pit bull. I'm like 99.99999% sure he's pit bull because his mother is a pit bull. Okay, so let's move on. I got five new indestructible items off of Amazon. I do a lot of research before I do these types of videos because I like to see what the internet says and I like to source out products that people really call indestructible. The reason that I have such a tough time getting toys for Jax and anybody who has like a big aggressive chewer type of dog, these toys are quite expensive if you get them at the store. Sometimes you can find them cheaper online, but doesn't matter if you spend five dollars on a toy or 55 dollars on a toy if you have an aggressive chewer even like the most indestructible of indestructible toys usually get ripped apart within minutes so i did some sourcing one of them i'm very very weary about and i don't have high hopes but the rest of them i'm pretty pretty excited so again i will link all of these products and all of my previous dog related content videos in that playlist in the description below if you want to check them out and i also have a storefront on amazon full disclosure it is like an affiliate storefront so if you purchase anything from it i get like a small amount of commission from your purchase but i have linked all of my top favorite dog toys on that amazon storefront so i will link that in the description below as well because i only link the ones that are like a1 absolutely the best so pretty sure half the people watching this video already clicked on the intro and they're just getting into like the dog related content so let's stop talking and let's get right on into the products okay let's get on into all of the products this one let's start with the one i have zero hopes for and end with the one that i'm like pretty confident will be an amazing toy this little guy this was marketed as being an indestructible chew toy Jax is going to destroy this within a minute like an actual minute and kind of my standard for really good toys when it comes to Jax is if he can sustain it and it is still alive after five minutes of use it's a pretty good toy because usually Jax will just rip apart a toy within actual minutes of having it but if it lasts to that like five minute seven minute time frame it's a pretty good toy if it lasts like a full day it's a great toy so this is the go dog tough for fun chew guard technology little chicken I mean, 
who really thinks that he is going to keep this together because I absolutely don't. So that is toy number one. Toy number two is the Tikatan durable scented dog toy. I do have pretty high hopes for this one. I think this one will sustain him and continue to stay like in place. It'll have some like chew marks on it, I'm sure, but I'm pretty confident about this one. This one, I'm not as confident. This one is like just this rubber situation, it has a little hole over here. I get nervous with this rubber. I mean, it's a pretty durable rubber. However, rubber and jacks, they just, <laughs> they're oil and vinegar. I like more of like these hard plasticky type of toys. The next one I'm really excited for just because it's really cute and it got really good reviews. It's from Bully Make. This is the Tough Nylon Chew for Dogs but it's like a little hammer. Shut up, it's so cute. I love this one. And I'm pretty sure Bully Make is a really good brand for like really tough chewing dog products. And the last one is not necessarily a toy, but it's kind of something to just like keep them occupied and engage them. It is the Outward Hound Raise the Roof. Raise the Roof, like instead of Raise the Roof. Love that pun on words. It is the Dog Twister Unlock, Slide, and Treat. Fine hidden treats so basically it is this little Roomba looking vacuum thing but it just stays in place it's just what it reminds me of like a little Roomba and they have to like pull these parts out to get the treats I love Jax more than anything but he's not the brightest crayon in the crayon box and I, I just don't think that he's gonna understand how to do this this is level three advanced probably should have started with a level one okay so those are all of the toys I will link all of them in the description if you guys want to try out any for yourself let's get Jax up here now and test some of these out here you go Time elapsed, seven minutes. Poor little guy lost both the eyes. This little piece that comes over there, half the bow is ripped, lost a leg, lost one of the little wings over here. We just have some like little pieces. This is, this is a little mortifying, but we got some eyeballs over here, a wing. It's crap. I'm gonna try this one next. So this is like the tough rubber red dog toy. It's slightly bendy. I'm going to film Jack's playing with this for like a minute or so and then I'm gonna go downstairs and fill up that little like engagement toy with some of his treats. So that's gonna take me a couple of minutes and I'm gonna come back up and see if he is still chewing on it, if it is still intact or if it is completely destroyed. Wish us luck. Do easy. Easy. That was very easy. That was very easy. Good boy. Have fun. Enjoy.
okay. I am pleasantly, pleasantly surprised and impressed with this toy. It has been just over 10 minutes, 10 minutes-ish, and really not even a rip in it. This thing has held up really, really well, and Jax was going to town on this toy, especially when I went downstairs to go fill up the other toy. I am wildly impressed with this. I had little to no hopes for this one because it's like that tough rubber. I would say the only thing that really got messed up is right over here. I'm not even sure if my camera will pick it up, but right over there you can see like some indents from where he was biting, but it's not ripped and you can't like push it in to the point that it would break off. Okay, I really like this one. And this one was pretty inexpensive on Amazon as well. So very, very happy with this purchase. First one, not so happy about this one. Come on. That brings us to this toy right over here. I mean this in the nicest way possible. Jax is way too dumb for this toy. Maybe he will shock me. And again, I love my dog dearly, but I just don't think he is smart enough to understand this toy. Essentially, you have these pieces over here that he has to like pull out with his paw. And as he pulls it out, he has to push this part over. And when he pushes this part over, I have some like treats in there and then he has to push it back. They're all getting stuck now because I'm holding it upside down. But yeah, you just kind of have to like pull this out, push this over, push that in. What? It got insane reviews on Amazon, so we're going to try it out. Maybe I'll be shocked. Silly toy. I'm gonna try again. That's my dog. Dust yourself off and try again. Well, that's one way of doing it. As suspected this toy it's just it's not it for Jax not saying it is not a good toy I'm sure some dogs would thrive in this type of situation Jax is just he's not the dog that is going to thrive off of these puzzle toy food dispensers also quality isn't well it's not terrible actually it really isn't ripped up i thought it was more ripped up than it was it has a couple of little like bite marks into it but really the only way that Jax got some treats out of it is when he kind of like flipped it over and they just fell out he hasn't moved pretty much a single one of these little flaps so i would say two out of ten for this one it's just it's a no for me but maybe it's a yes for your type of dog He's trying it so hard though. You have to give him credit, he is very persistent. Right, Bobby? You are very persistent. Dog toy or something to knock some sense into me for spending so much money on these toys knowing damn well they're not gonna work for my dog. Hopefully this one will. We've had success with one out of the three so far. So can we make it 50-50? Two toys that we love. Two toys that just weren't working for Jax. This is the little Bully Make. Oh, I thought it was Bully Made. It's Bully Make Hammer. So I'm going to give this to him. And I'm just going to let him have at it for a good 5 to 10 minutes. And see what it looks like when we are done. Come on, your toy. 
You don't want it. This is the toy that I was the most excited for and Jax has zero desire to even kind of like chew it for a second. I offered it to him probably 10 or 15 times. He will put it in his mouth and just drop it, put it in his mouth and just drop it. So I thought like maybe he is just overstimulated at this point. So I gave him the red toy back took it within a second and has been chewing on it ever since so i don't know what it is about this toy it is very very hard like when you drop it it makes a huge huge bang do you hear that it makes like a huge bang so i don't know if it's just too rough and tough for him which i never thought i would see the light of day that i would say those words but he wants pretty much nothing to do with this at all but he is again going to town on this red toy over here highly recommend that toy i am going to save this one i'm not going to go off of like first impression i'm gonna put it in our like little dog toy bin and i will try this one again in a couple of days and i will update you in the comments i'll pin it to the top if he ended up liking this one or not but as of today i offered it to him like 10 to 15 times and he just couldn't care less at all about this toy but he is loving this one right here yeah he's loving it you're loving it oh are you gonna try it nope i love this toy this is a good toy and it squeaks it squeaks yeah update coming at you with a little revision i retract everything i just said in that previous clip just came home from a little family cookout. Before we left for the cookout, we took this little bully make toy, this little hammer toy, we put it in a box, put that box into our breezeway, and then we left for the cookout. We just came home from the cookout and Jax was chomping on this toy on the couch. So he went into the breezeway, took this toy out of the box on his own, and then jumped onto the couch to start playing with it. And he really, really likes it. He's been chewing away and it is still in very good condition. So I retract everything that I said. This one didn't have the best first impression, but 100 out of 10, he loves it. Okay, final toy of this video. It is this really, really, really hard plastic dog bone toy. This one is scented right over here. There is a hard plastic, or maybe it is a rubber. It is softer than this part over here, but it smells like bacon or beef and potatoes. I'm getting potato notes when I sniff this toy, it's not completely unpleasant, but it's a little off-putting. So this is what the toy looks like right here. I feel like Jax will gravitate towards this toy because again, it smells like beef, bacon, and potatoes. So let's give it to him and see how he does. You ready? Can you smell it?
it's a success it has been several several minutes and he's still very much enjoying that little dog bone toy so i would say that this video is mostly a success partially a success i feel like out of the five toys we like two and a half of them definitely that dog bone scented toy definitely definitely the red rubber like spiky one and maybe the hammer one the other two were just like complete flops but we had fun doing it so no harm no foul i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see more jacks related content here on my channel give this video a big thumbs up let me know what you'd like to see with jacks in me in the comments and you know share this video if you're interested it really does help us content creators i love you guys to the moon and back Jax is like pooped right now so we're just gonna have like some little cuddle time on the couch and yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much to the moon and back hope that you're having an amazing day and i truly appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart honestly for all the support that you show me here on youtube it just means the absolute world to me i love y'all and i will talk to y'all soon bye friends